Hey everyone, my name is Visibility, and today I'm here with another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy depth of field in your scene. So now I have this little simple kind of scene right here. Um, and basically what I want to do is add depth of field. And what depth of field is, is basically it kind of focuses on one specific thing. It kind of blurs out everything else. So let's say I want this triangle to be uh, our focus point in this so how would I do that now if we see if I go into the camera view and then rendered right um, give it a little bit of time you can see that like there's nothing that really stands out in the image like yeah we have the triangle which is bright but like what's like we could also focus on this open sign over here or like the mist or the ground we could basically focus on anything so how would we make it to where we could only focus on one thing well, basically, an easy way to do this is to add depth of field. So, the way to do that is to click on your camera and select your camera object and go down here into this little camera tab. And in viewport display, enable limits. Now, then uh, you can see that we kind of had this clipping kind of line that shows how far your camera can see. It doesn't really matter since we have a wall right here, but like, let's say if you have something in the distance you don't want to see for some reason, you just like lower stuff but anyway what we want to focus on is this cross thing right here now there are two ways you can adjust this cross okay either you can just change the distance manually by dragging up distance and that's good if you want like an exact kind of space but like for this scene since uh, our kind of focus element is just right here we can go in a focus object and this triangle is just a subdivided cylinder and we can just select our object that we want to be focused and you can see it automatically puts our little cross in front of it now if we go into camera view right now and click render we can see it doesn't have an effect now why is that well basically we haven't set an aperture size now the way to do that is go down here to aperture and just adjust size now this is very very tricky to get right depending on what scenes you have and depending on how far away your object actually is so I found that kind of point zero two to point zero three kind of works a little bit better so 0.02 to 0.03 would work and we can kind of see that back here we now have this blur in uh, the open sign. You can see uh, we now have this kind of like uh, fuzziness in the preview vendor and that's basically it blurring out and we can see right here the uh, triangle is crystal clear. So it kind of gives a focal element to the image. Now obviously you can crank this up like super high and it just kind of blurs everything out so obviously we don't want to do that but like for example like point three that's really blurred out like we can see that like our triangle is still kind of a little bit in full view that's just because the blur is kind of bleeding into it but like point zero three is decent if you want to uh, kind of make it to where it's you know uh, focused so that's basically how to add depth of field in your uh, blender scenes now uh, this scene uh, that I made right here I actually made a few days ago and I really liked it so if you guys want to make uh, want me to make a tutorial on how to make this scene then uh, I'll make a tutorial on how to make it it's pretty simple just uh, like ground texture brick texture open sign door from Archipack planes uh, this triangle focal element uh, just whatever if you guys want to see a tutorial on it just let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials and let me know my last tutorial has gotten 58 views at the time of recording this in three days so that's amazing actually so thanks guys for the support and my name is visibility hopefully this guys hopefully this tutorial helps you guys and I'll see you guys next time goodbye